But whenever you hear anything that comes from Igbo area, and whatever they do, arrest him, kill him, buy him. Look at the Lagos state here. Let's see if we go state here. When they were threatening Igbo to go, Igbo should die. Then he come and say, if the government of Lagos state cannot give them protection, then he will vote the ESN. The only state they haven't done up to today. That one is lavish. Um, the man they arrested, I don't know him in person. I haven't heard about him. He's not a politician. <laughs> I don't think so. Because he's a politician, he's been a popular man. Mm. Whether he's on the winning side or, or, or a losing side. As, was, as, as, his, as his link, you know, do you not think maybe they've seen that um, maybe through his bank details is, or his bank account, they've seen that um, he's been, since they say sponsor, maybe he's supporting them financially or with um, buying them arms. Do you think that, uh, that's what they're trying to say? Uh, I don't see that man mm. being a sponsor of IPOB. Mm. or a sponsor or a founder of it mm. but i think maybe the man one way or the other have comments concerning activities of federal government against the indigenous people of biafra or somebody might have made allegation against him that he is sponsoring or try to finance, try to understand. It depends when investigation is coming up. If federal government of Nigeria will stand on the truth and bring the reality, what made them to arrest this man? Nobody can know. But whatever they, they told the public is what public will uphold. You understand? Now, because why I'm saying all these things, I don't believe that a man who have seen IPOB prescribed as terrorist group up to this day, they are terrorist group. If not so, they will not go and arrest this man that is sponsoring or uh, is a fan of RPOB. Then if this was a really fan of RPOB and he still remains Nigeria up to now, I don't think that he's supposed to be a fan. Because a founder of RPOB or is funding RPOB is supposed to be a wise man and not the critical condition the agitators are in Nigeria now. And not the critical condition how Nigerian army, Nigerian security agents, Nigerian government are coming out with full force against the agitators because of December 2nd. They know this is at hand. So they will do anything to stop it. And this person, they said, that is founder of IPOB Steelman in Nigeria. I don't think that he's a wise man. If he's really the founder of IPOB, I don't think that he's a wise man. He's supposed to find his way out. And the people that are coming to, to agitate, to rejoice over him, look around whether he is a people whether those people having grievances with him because what i notice now in eastern uh eastern region as a whole or uh, biafra as it it came to be that the academic that academic to be now or uh, even extortion when you get a permanent problem with a permanent person in the government and they pursue you here and there, it did not get you. You go and take federal might in the name of one thing or the other to apprehend you to show you that he has power or her has power. This may be what happened to this man. They say he's a founder of IBO. Maybe those people he having quarrel with them and they don't know any way they can take to teach him lesson than to lick him up to founder of IPOB. And when federal government here anything because IPOB now have become a term in the flesh of government of Nigeria. So whenever they hear anything IPOB, whether investigation or no investigation, they will first of all go and hold that person before investigation. And for them to know that they are doing their job, they will announce it that we have a capture so and so person. They will announce it for people to know that they are doing their job. But let me ask you or uh, ask the public. Why should people that are sponsoring Nancy uh, 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 Planning Helps Men? Why are they not arrested? Why people are sponsoring Buku Haram? Why are they not arrested? We've seen the current governor of um, Zafara State, um, you know, Dauda Lawa, come out to accuse the current um, state of defense minister, Matalawa, Matalawa, Matawale, as the you know um, founder and the sponsor of um, of um, um, uh, this. Um, um, terrorist in this um, in Zafara State, but people have called for Tunubu to, I will happen now to um, step down 
no matter what well as a defense minister. But you know, they were expecting them to step step him down. But Tunubu didn't uh, step him down. Do you not think um from look of things, do you not think this is uh bad because at least there supposed to be an investigation as regards this. Do you not think this is bad? This is what I'm saying. What are for people like this how they'll be arrested? You suppose as a uh, what is it as a minister of uh, uh, what is his post? That uh, matter uh, what? Uh, Minister of State Defense. Minister of State Affairs. State Defense. State Defense. His appointment is not elected. Talks less of to say he meet the governor him. At the meeting, Nigeria governor only governors and the vice president and the president. Even senators, reps. The meeting does not talk about them. Now, when this type of grievous allegation lay against him by his own brother they from the same state, hmm. why can't federal government look into it? But no way. Okay, what about that job? The arrest and the under the for the peace of justice, peace of justice, they release him. Eh? Why not it? Why not him be arrested? But whenever he hear anything that comes from people area, and whatever they do, arrest him, kill him, buy him. Look at in Lagos State here. Let's see in Lagos State here. When they were threatening Igbo to go, Igbo should die. Then he come and say, if the government of Lagos State cannot give them protection. Then he will vote the ESN. The only speed they haven't done up to today. That one is lavish in place. Nobody know where about him. Nobody hear about him again. They came and the security agent came and picked him up. Why is so in the east? Why is so among Igbos? Because our elite, our so-called our leaders have betrayed themselves. Have sold their hand in evil. They don't have respect anymore. Even they, they themselves are called themselves leader, politician, rep, senators, governors, all of them are in fear. Because they themselves have made something when they were apprehended or in anything, instead of their own people to come and pro pro protest against them, their, people, their own people will be, be rejoicing. Because that's how we did to them. Now look at it. In our passenger regime, our passenger administration, when our passenger and go uh, and Ojuku have issue. Or person just trying to evade him, say no go. A person just order DSS or security agent to go to Enugu and pick him with the force. You know what we do? All the whole Okadas in Enugu and number the whole Igbo land, they gather in Ojuku house. So okay, come and take him. We are here waiting for you. Come and take him. We are here waiting for him. Waiting for you. Let them come. That's where the case ends. Because a person that have seen young men who troop out. I want to die for the cause of Ojibu. Why? Because Ojibu did what they feel or what the Biafran's feel that is good, that is trying to protect them. Until Ojibu died, Ojibu never want to betray these people. But look at these current people now, how they are doing. This is why this man, when they went and apprehend, I'm not saying that he's not the founder of uh, uh, IPOB. But if he's founder of IPOB, you went. If he is founder of IPOB, you went and apprehend him. Why can't you apprehend others that are sponsoring Flanny Hesman? Flanny Hesman, AK for seven they're using. Do you know how much AK for seven is now? Is it not person that AK for seven for them, sponsor for them, changing bullets for them? Is it not woman being when you call them and hand them over to police? Then order will be given to release them. Why can't federal government go against those people? I mean, anything that is good to Paul is also good to Pius. Not only Paul, no good things. Pius also deserve good things. Now, that's what I'm saying. No group, no tribe that is superior in the eyes of God more than other tribes. But it came to be in Nigeria that only one tribe or only one section are humiliated. Whatever they do is bad. And their leaders accept it. And their leaders were rejoicing in it. And their leaders were making themselves rich from it. You understand? But if I'm still repeating it, if still that one they apprehend is IPOB founder and still remain in Nigeria up to this time, they should go and watch whether some not have loose it out of his brain. I'm telling you honestly. Because you cannot see what is going on and still remain in Nigeria. Ah, it's a pity. It's a pity. But those people that are rejoicing that they apprehend him, 
they should watch their back. Their own is soon coming. Their own soon is coming. They should watch their back. Because when a fowl saw where they are butchering partridge and they was happy because they are butchering her partridge. The same knife they used to butcher part partridge. The same knife they used to butcher fowl when it's it's, it's on time comes. That's how it is. Of all of them, their blood will be wiped out. See, their blood will use to sanctify the freedom of that region because that region is not a peace. And you say we are Nigeria. Ah, we Nigeria. We are not Nigeria. Only one side is working free. The other side is not working free. And the other side is the economic heart of Nigeria. See, let us be frank with ourselves. The eastern part of Nigeria, maybe the hope of Nigeria moving or no moving. Now, when you now lock one of their songs, and their song is not just ordinary song, a freedom fighter for that matter. God bless you for that person. You mm. see, I've been saying it for a long time that, mm. see, this is the time of you now the canon incarceration in Nigeria brought, brought it down from Kenya to here. Mm. You see, the situation is not pure and the God is not happy with it. Okay, now, every day, see, at home, how long? How many years? How many years? Mm. Buari, Buari, we almost, let's say, four, six years. Eight years. Yes, eight years. Let's see, when he brought the uh, oh, county, let's say, imagine. Years. Okay, now, he now left. Things were hardening. Mm. See, the hardship will go through. Money swap. This, this. Okay, now, we believe that when, when, when this Dagaba came, the lion, the lion of body law, will release, I will listen to the, 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 the voice of the masses, mm. the voice of many. The voice of the progress, the voice of the prosperity of children of God. Okay, now see what is happening in, in, in the eastern part of Nigeria. You deploy army every day, and you know the truth is in your hand. The truth is in your hand. Why don't you open the gate and let this young man go? Okay, how many judge? How many judge have came and go? Say, this case, we find no fault in him, just like Jesus Christ of yesterday. When they pray, they say, I find no fault in this man. They say, crucify him. Because at the end of the day, what happened? You see, there's going to be a boom. A wicked most mysterious disaster that is coming behind the scene of this young man being locked there for just nothing illegally how long somebody is fighting for the justice for the freedom of his people okay what of uh Sunday Bobo? is it not likely the same thing but it's, it's gone it's released now it's walking free but what of Kanu? see it's a politically motivated and those that are involved all of them their blood will be wiped out see their blood will use to sanctify the freedom of that region because that region is not a peace and you say we are nigeria ah we're nigeria we are not nigeria when one side is working free the other side is not working free and the other side is the economic heart of nigeria see let us be frank with ourselves the eastern part of nigeria maybe the hope of nigeria moving or no moving now when you now lock one of their songs and their song is not just ordinary song a freedom fighter for that matter someone that wake up and they say no enough of ruling massacre enough of intimidation enough of injustice enough of this and that enough of those bad language that the government has imposed on them now you put it in small place every day you see, who is taking the is listening to the voice of God and release that young man, let him go. Let him see the canon should be released today. See, only that jubilation will let free air. See, the everywhere fresh, fresh air will come. See, the answer for our name. See, they believe that they, 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 they are the control of everything. Their days are coming to an end. See, the canon must be released. You see, in a situation whereby every Monday, you see, you see I, I, See, the security situation there is getting out of hand. You know how much federal government is spending every day to, to, to make you say, okay, now, the right day, the government says, you say, come outside, come outside, come and do anything you want to do. There will be peace. Why did they not come outside? Why did the federal government, why, where, where, they, where were the security then? Hmm. See, the security of them are afraid. The police are afraid. The army are afraid. Anytime we send any of the personnel to that external region to go and keep peace, they know what they are going for is wrong. Why don't you release the young man, let peace reign, and let freedom circulate, and let fresh air involve the environment? Please, they should let him read. Otherwise, what this prophet just saying, huh? it will must come to pass. And if it comes to pass, there will go be, it will be anarchy. And now anarchy is going to be worse than this situation we are facing now. So the, 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 the primary advice is for them to let this young man go. He has done no wrong. He has done no wrong. You see, when you look up, you look down, He's done nothing wrong. Somebody is fighting for his people. Why will the Fulani Esmen invade your land and kill your women and rape your children and destroy your farm? And at the end of the day, somebody say, No, enough is enough. You will not put him in a castration. Is that not wrong? It's wrong. See, let us 
stop this marginalizing of ourselves. Mm. We know the canoe never done anything wrong. Let the young man come outside and you see that peace. That peace in eastern region will let peace reign on Nigeria. You mm. see, all those things, all this hardship, it will minimize. You see, all those hardships will minimize because they contributed to what is happening now. Because on easy, no, no man, innocent man is suffering for nothing's sake. I will say the country will be at peace. The country will never be at peace and it will never be at rest. See, don't let us what's happening in the federal land happen in Nigeria. If it happens in Nigeria, Nigeria will be a disastrous area to stay, to live. You see, I'm appealing to the present government. Let Unadi Kanu go free and let peace reign. No matter the situation, he is a peacemaker. Let us experience peace. You see, you can't be going to the eastern part of Nigeria every day. On Monday, you will not park in Asaba to the next day. How long are we going to be doing all those things? It's not necessary. See, the reality The reality is that do the right thing. Let the present government, Jagaba, is listening. Tunubu, the president, is listening. Please, Kanu, let him go. And let me stay. Let me stay. Because those people hold the economic power of Nigeria. And now when you are now letting their hearts to be gripped, Nigeria will be gripped. <laughs> Nigeria will be no more. See what is happening, Nigeria. Now. Everything is scrap rocket high. Nothing comes down. Every day is suffering and smiling. Every day. Why don't they do the things that is right in the eyes of Nigeria? 100% Una the should be released. They should stop politics. They should stop politics. See, he's not a politician, he's a, he's a, he's a freedom fighter. Please. Let him go and let us have peace and let things calm down for us. Because women, children, they are free to come outside in that area. See, one of my friends just come back the other day. It's just seven o'clock, everybody will be inside their house, just like that. That is, that is, that is, that is I know, on that bondage. Insecurity. On that bondage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. security now. So everybody will just be walking seven o'clock now, go inside your house and you lock your door. You lock yourself inside to the next day and on some Monday permanently, no even coming out. Is that government? That is not government. And you say you are a democratic elected government. In what way? After Buari left, you see continuing the injustice of Buari. Let's free ourselves and let's free, particularly Unadi, come. Let freedom reign. Let peace reign. Okay, but, 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 okay. But, but do you not think that um, um, for Unadi Kanu, do you not think that um, the South is um, they are, they're losing um, you know, a revenue and Nigeria is losing revenue? As you guys know, this sit at home. You know, the reason I'm the kind of at least um, they start, you know, um, getting um, more revenue from the they south. Are, they are losing millions of millions of naira every day in that region. Do you know how much? Okay, you see, sit at home. On a day, a government no work. Do you know how much they lost? Now, in the five states in the nation, almost six states, compulsory on Monday, not going anywhere. That is, is getting out of hand. Let us stop this injustice and let us be one. You see, the federal government is losing trillions of naira in this situation, and they are looking like they are not losing anything. And those languages affecting you and I, indirectly or directly, is affecting you and I. That's it at all. It's not only affecting those people there; it's affecting the generality of Nigeria. The economy-wise of Nigeria is affected by that shit at all. So why they not do the right thing? And let history and read the demonstration of democracy. Let everybody enjoy it election wise. Mm. You can't do this to an outer man. You can't do this to a Yoruba man. See, Yoruba man just freedom. What of outer man? All those killers, all those kidnappers, all those bandits. What have they done? Okay, now, you see, one day, gunshot <laughs> will pass gunshot. That man just said, army versus army, soldier versus soldier, gunshot versus gunshot. So one day, Everything will blow up. But before it blow up, there is a chance of arranging peace, arranging dialogue. There is a big chance. If you don't want, they don't want big chance. One day, they will be fast on their self. Oh, are they scared of if they release in America? You might still go back see, and start causing. Yeah. Nothing, okay, if you have failed, okay, now. You know, the canoe have tell you what is want and what it doesn't want. Okay, now you say you want the okay, opposite. Let's sit down and solve it as amicably. Not just kidnapping somebody somewhere, lock it somewhere, and end of the road. And now there is no peace in the region. You now bring the hardship. Sit at home. 
revenue missing. Revenue, you know how much revenue they are locked in there every day. You see, let this rain. Let them release the young guy. And I believe 100 percent they release that canoe today. You see, you will see different of atmosphere. You will see the you will see the reality of God. Because the gods are angry with the government. It's out of fun where I want to go over Ibu Awansa. Why only one side he pick keep on like say you want to you want to press it down by fire and by force. And it's not possible. You can't press God down. You can't press God down because the whole economy of Nigeria. So it's a disaster of keeping him here. Let him come outside and let this rain once and for all. Because what we are losing there, it was your package, it will not be suffering like this. The hardship will not get out of hand like this. Let us minimize ourselves. Let us be one. If we right of justice, divide them with four, unite them, we stand. Let us stand again. We are one before. Let us be one. See, we can settle ourselves. It's a simple arithmetic. Know that you will lock somebody dead just for, for nothing sake. Operation, now the canoe, freedom, now, 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 not tomorrow, now is the time for him to gain his freedom. And that freedom is what we are looking for. And now is the time of gaining his freedom. We don't want a situation where everywhere will blow <laughs> because it can come to pass. You see, a prophet just, before a prophet will make a first statement, he has six things in the spiritual realm, and the spiritual realm cover the physical realm. And when there is anything that is so good in that side, it will not be good yet. So let us arrange the language and let this peace reign. Let peace reign. You know, the carnal must be free now. We don't want more bloodshed. We are not animal, we are human beings. We can't be killing ourselves with the meaning of injustice. So we are tired of the injustice that the government is giving to us. We are tired of it. So let them know. And they know, but they don't want to know, but they must know. And they must know because every day is not Christmas. We don't do Christmas, we don't tire. So let now the canoe be free once and for all. And let this rain. We we'll put him. See, number 10 man in Nigeria, after the president, the vice president is in number 10. See the ultra that is made. Okay, we want to turn Nigeria to Islamic nation. Just in seconds. And it's impossible. See. See what Fulani Edmund has done. See now, see what is happening now. Fulani Edmund said that now there is no food in their land. They are now run away. Now, and by the way, that made the colonial with them, with the Gaba and so called APC or Progressive Congress, they came to lose Nigeria. And Akpabio is about third man there. You see, all we we'll say Akpabio is in the book, black book of majority of Nigeria. Because its language, its body movement, it betrayed all of us. Between our four, between me and you, the generality of Nigeria is angry. Angry against the president, against the vice president, and most especially the one that will believe that is make things all right at Pablo, the senior president. We are all angry with them. And their days are coming to an end and it must end. Because so Nigeria now, Nigeria, see, Nigeria youth, if you want to divide Nigeria, you should divide Nigeria. But Nigeria youth, majority of us, Nigeria data website like this. We are different for the northern answer. See, God will bless you for that question. See, Nigeria is a whole, Nigeria is divided, but let us be frank to ourselves. Our own side, Nigeria later, we are not Muslim. So no matter what the situation, no matter what Akpabio says, see, now Akpabio is now in the corridor of power. So it's like he's not trying to enrich himself. Whether he like it or not, one day he's going coming back to Nigeria later. And Nigeria later can never be a Muslim home. We are not Muslim, we are Christian. Akpabio, see. The, the, the language of Akpabio now let us to know his character, know inside his mind, is an evil man. He rule HS in, in the Akwaibo, so what does Akpabio do? Nothing. All in the name of enriching itself. Now he's not working with Jagaba. For him to say the truth to the whole Nigeria, it's like siding, siding, siding. Now to the extent, he's not working with the full animal X-Men. You see, let us be frank, Akpabio is a full animal. You see, Akpabio thinking, Akpabio talking, Akpabio on trust, you know that now it's not dancing with the devil. And we, the devil, is an enemy to the, to the, to the happiness and the prosperity of the Niger Delta. And Fabio, these are no bad. It is going to last for day. It can't last for day. Okay, now when they, when they finish it, you know, make me leave for Abuja. You can't leave Abuja. Now. It's coming to Akwaibo. Or it's coming to Lagos. And we are not full of any <laughs> And it can never turn us to Muslim automatically. It's impossibility. It can't happen. See, see what Fulani Hesme has done. See what they have done to Akwaibo. Is it not the son 
of Aquaibo. What has he done? Now is is clapping with them, is dancing with them, is wearing a bada, wearing an Osaka. Now the same Fulani Esme will slaughter him. And if he does not slaughter him, we will slaughter him because he must come back home. He will not come back home in a period there, in business, everything. You see, Akpabio does a number. We never know that Akpabio is a skeleton under the green grass, a snake under the green grass. See what is happening now. See, forgetting Nigeria, say Nigeria is is no more than the president. The presidential jet is more than the whole Nigeria. You see, say go let Nigeria be protesting. We will be enjoying. You see, we are recording a Pablo documentary language. We are recording everything. And now is the time for him to quit. Otherwise, we will quit him. Hmm. See, number 10 man in Nigeria, after the president, the vice president is the number 10. See, the entrance that is made, okay, want to turn Nigeria to Islamic nation. Just in seconds. And it's impossible. Hmm. See, see what Fulani Edmund has done. See, now, see what is happening now. Fulani Edmund said that now there is no food in their land. They are now run away now. And by the way, I mean, the colonial with them with the Gaba and so called APC or Progressive Congress. They came to lose Nigeria. And Akpabio is about third man there. You so, see, all we say Akpabio is in the book, black book of majority of Nigeria because its language, its body movement, it betrays all of us. Between all of us, between you, the generality of Nigeria is angry, angry against the president, against the vice president, and most especially the one that will bring that is will make things all right apart from the senior president. We are all angry with them. And their days are coming to an end and it must end. So Nigeria now, Nigeria, see, Nigeria youth, you should want to divide Nigeria, you should divide Nigeria, but Nigeria youth, majority of us, Nigeria data website like this, we are different for the Northerners. And we, we are going to we are going to we are going to combine together to chase the art of that place. But that place is for all of us, not for few, not for Akpabio and Co. See what is happening now, the the money, say dollar, you know how much is a dollar? Akpabio never come out and say, no, let us stop this, 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 this injustice that Nigeria is facing. Let us, Akpabio never come out and say, the hardship is getting out of hand. I will go solve it. No, all he keeps saying is promoting the injustice that the government in the day has subjected Nigeria to.